three COVID outbreaks in 30 days has locals wondering, will Summit open as scheduled? Phil Lindemann, Crystal, 93 News. Summit County confirms an outbreak of COVID-19 from downstairs at Eric's, the third outbreak in a month. Four employees at the Breckenridge restaurant tested positive for COVID this Monday and isolated immediately. This brings Summit's outbreak total since April 22nd to at least 25 employees between Eric's, Breck City Market, and Lowe's in Silverthorne. 25 people is roughly 25% of all 102 new cases in the past 30 days, 71% of new cases in the past 14 days. Could these outbreaks derail Summit's roadmap to recovery? Julie Suter with the county says not exactly. Right now, based on all the data we're seeing, we plan to move forward with reopening. Earlier today, we reported Summit's caseload has grown nearly 21% in 14 days, double the county's reopening benchmark of 10%. But Suter says outbreaks are outliers and not assessed the same. We do see a spike in the number of positives when we look at that positivity graph, but we can take that with a grain of salt because if we saw all those positive cases happening throughout the community from a variety of different places, then that would be more of a concern. Meanwhile, locals are wondering how this looks to the state, currently reviewing a variance waiver, giving Summit permission to reopen on local terms. We have not yet heard back from the state. We are eagerly awaiting word from them, and we would love to get our restaurants open as soon as possible. Stay tuned today for the latest on that waiver approval. A gas leak at the Frisco Transfer Center between Safeway and Whole Foods yesterday closed roads in the area and forced evacuations, putting some locals on edge. When multiple police arrived, sirens blaring. Closures on Meadow Drive and other nearby roads happened around 5.30 p.m. and the leak was capped soon after, with brief evacuations at Walmart and Safeway. No injuries were reported. There will be no campground camping on the Dillon Ranger District this Memorial Day. All 13 developed campgrounds in Summit are closed through June 1st at least, representing 500 campsites. Bill Jackson with the Dillon Ranger District. But it does not apply to trails or your normal trailhead that, that we have around here. The rest of those, those areas are open, and they've been open. Dispersed camping along Forest Service roads is allowed, but fires in Summit are banned under Stage 1 restrictions. Fires will be allowed at dispersed campsites in the Vale and Aspen areas, but only if fire danger remains moderate. Call the local ranger district for info. Vale Resorts has announced its summer plans. Breckenridge and Keystone and the rest of our resorts, uh, we plan to have the lift spinning uh, by late June or early July for our summer operation. That was Ryan Huff with Vale. He confirms Breckenridge will not reopen for spring skiing while resort officials figure out what exactly summer will look like. What specific activities are on the mountain uh, still to be determined, but we will be uh, talking with the guests here in the next few weeks. This opening is for all Vail properties in Colorado and across the globe, including lodging and retail. The latest now on coronavirus and golf season. Fairways are opening one week later than usual this summer, and even that is a blessing. Greens countywide suffered freeze damage when October snow melted in November and refroze, suffocating the grass. Errol Miller, PGA Pro at Breckenridge Golf Club. Uh, it's almost like COVID struck the golf course. <laughs> Breck opens one week from today, May 29th, with 18 holes and the driving range, and punch card rates, 44 bucks for Breck residents, 53 for Summit and Park County locals. Summit County confirms 203 cases of COVID-19 as of yesterday, with two new cases, one direct fatality, and 1,212 people tested. Colorado claims 23,191 cases and 1,310 total fatalities, 1,062 directly from COVID. And in local sports, brought to you by American Family Insurance, the Weiss Agency, we've got opening dates for every golf club in Summit. Breck is first, opening May 29th. The Raven opens June 1st. Copper, July 4th. And both Keystone 18s, the River and the Ranch, open by late June or early July. Every course will be following similar guidelines, like touchless pins, no bunker rakes, clubhouse capacity limits, and one golfer per cart, unless both players are from the same household. Phil Lindemann, Crystal, 93 News.